So, today it's once again going to be an episode without a video. So, for all the YouTube watchers, I'm actually quite sorry. But for everybody else that is still interested in this episode, I don't want to go back to the next episode of the Self to World More Tactics podcast. And I'm really happy to be here. And I'm also really happy to go through some poems. And there is also going to be some background music, at least for the podcast. And I at least hope I'm, I'm thinking about it at least. You know, let's put it like that. But, but yeah, um, we're going to read through some poems by people. Um, I actually wanted to go for something that is written by, by a relatively famous ones. But, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> we're going to see. Um, the Poets Corner, which is the web. No, it's the link to this article is going to be down in the description as always. But yeah, The Poet's Corner. Share your original poems around the world. Thoughtful poems, poems when power corrupts, poetry, the, the, the poetry cleanses, President John F. Kennedy. There is an editor's pick. Post your poem contest winners. Well, anyway, the road not taken. Would things have really been so different? Would the world really have been so shaken? If when I were a much younger man, I had chosen the road not taken. Would the days have been any brighter or the nights darker than they are? Would I still have lived in such obscurity or shine brighter than any star? It does little good to wonder of things that might have been. For who and what I have become, I must live with in the end. Though life could have been much better, all in all, I do not feel forsaken. I count the blessings that I have and cry not of the road. Not take. Submitted by William Kite from Glenwood, Iowa. Yeah. Original. Should I go through original works? What if I, what if I do that? Hmm. It's the same thing. <laughs> Poet. Luratus. Well, anyway, um, we're gonna see. The next one is called Backspaces. Gazing out of my window, I thought of yesterdays, the facets and the gestures, and how the lava fades. Wondered if you're happy or if you found your way from long nights in November and the promise that we made. This one is by Jeff Kurfis from Parma. Um, Milan, I guess. Am I? I don't know. Another one. Just my mother. Did she have stories never told? Once she lived so long ago. Would I have listened if she did? She was my mom and me a kid. Just my mother. Not really real. Is this the way of her? I feel. Did she laugh? Did she cry? Was there a time I asked her why? Mothers, they're always there. Too many times we weren't aware that there are people just like us to remember that would be a plus. I said to listen of memories of old, as my mother talked of long ago. She spoke of daddy and his faults and of dancing to the Tennessee waltz. We laughed and cried, just two gals, not mother and daughter, just two pals. She was just my mother, so I didn't know that she had actually lived so long ago. By Gloria Saracen from Trinity and see New York City, I guess. Who's to say? The knife cuts deeply to the core, the spirit bleeds forevermore. A pain to last a whole life long, but who's to say if this is wrong? We laugh beside a diamond bay that flashed the sun in bright of day and glittered in the starry night, but who's to say that it was right? Dark shadows dance around the two, not wanting joy for me and you. I'll never know until this day just what went wrong, but who's to stay? Unhappiness would be my fate, but wisdom always comes too late. I look at life as one big stage, the eye more sensitive with age. I watch the drama now unfold, the truth upon a stage is told. I laughed and cried, but I was strong, and who's to say that I was wrong? Perhaps the love I lost in youth was never meant to be in truth. It seems that love can cloud our sight. But who's to say that I am right? If I were meant to live again, the same beginning to the end, I'd 
treat my footsteps all along and who's to stay if I'm wrong. By Elizabeth Sensus from Pottstown, PA. Some actually really amazing poems. I, I actually gotta have to say that and gotta have to admit that. Um, really cool, really amazing. I love them. Would you love me less? Would you love me less intensely if my thoughts were less profound? As the pigeons pass of well to this, uh, to the tidbits scattered round, and never wondering nor dreaming, never questioning belief, pecking contemplations, morsels thrown by others at my feet. Would you love me with less passion if the twilight didn't creep to the innermost contentment of my heart before I sleep? If the cluttering of feathers swooping down to nighttime perch then inside a song of glory from my soul at nature's worth would your eyes be less inclined to notice little things i do if i didn't stoop to see the world from a child's point of view if the innocence of little ones didn't touch me every time that a child glazed in honesty in these eyes of mine would your love be less exciting if i didn't share my dreams that are floating in the current of imagination's streams if I didn't open up the fragile door that leads to me in the songs and dreams and thoughts that drift within my poetry. All these questions posed in haste within a moment's happiness and among of the sound of Lada came the little word or answer, yes. Which is as well by Elizabeth Santos from Pottstown, PA. There are some amazing things there. But I gotta be honest with you, I was searching for something else. I was searching for something inspirational, something thoughtful. Well, um, let me have a quick Google. Because Google is amazing and we can find things rather quickly. Short messages about life, so lifting inspirationals. I don't even know what inspirationals are, you know, that's being said. Continue with recommended cookies, yeah. Probably just um, sold my soul, but yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, short message about life, quotes about life, inspirational messages about life, inspirational messages and prayers. Well, let's... Um, Inspirational text messages and quotes. Positive quotes. Everything is about quotes. Inspirational messages about life and quotes. Let's actually... I don't know if this is any good. I don't know if this is any amazing. But we're going to have a look at this. Welcome to Poem More. Thank you. Is this all like inspirational messages about life? Inspiral, uh, well, let's actually go through those messages. There aren't too many of them, but yeah. You have been told there is a light at the end of the tunnel, but you don't see any in sight. Get a match, light up the bitch. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen. Didn't expect that the change in things, I guess. In the face of, of adversity, in the midst of fierce battles, when you feel crushed and you're losing heart, remember, you always have the prerogative of prayer. Get on your knees, say a prayer, it works. Let's actually get back to the um, um, poems. Twists and turns. You have to have luck with a mile more to go. A crooked road, it's a vicious circle. A heart of gold bursts bear silent witness to the kindest trait of being a good observer. Your enchanted I witness, do you know what I meant? Invitation to con what con what contraction of the life lived sweet and fragile. I'm in your corner, read between the lines, go forth and forward to where beauty lies. I probably just read it in such a bad way but it's by david soriano from bradford pa passing through so many times i think of death and see how my fear but for me it's just a journey with having dreaming so many times i think of death 
and see how many fear. But for me, it's just a journey with heaven drawing near. When I close my eyes at night and in my sleep, time passes by. I think of death as just that way with life and dreams when I die. Though in life I always wake, in death I will wake too. But it will be another world, the one I pass into. A world where no more tears are shed, nor goodbyes are ever, uh, ever said. With my loved ones I will stay and never more get out of bed. Bly, bly, bly by Gloria Zarison from Trinity, North Carolina. No, it's not New York City, it's North Carolina. Inkwell of the heart. From the content of the heart, the written word is pens, but without an inner sight, it's hard to comprehend. You look amazed at words and ink and ponder on them, the source, what is in the mind from whence they came, or from the heart that caused remorse. Is it truly filled with light in the way you've come to see, or does the content of your heart provide the link that flows from thee? Money dark that tends to swear, um, sumir, I'm sorry, or calligraphy with beauty seen, words that lift and soothe the soul, or ones that drag and thus demean. From the inkwell of the heart, the pen will draw from in and place upon the paper white those things that lie within. By Saracen from Gloria Saracen from Trinity once again. But can I? Wait a second. Um, romantic, sad, humorous, old favorites. Wish I'd say that. I don't know what wish I'd say that is, but um, yeah. Tonight your little cheek is wet with gliss glistening baby tears and baby heartbreaks hurt as much as ours in later years. But oh, my sweet tomorrow, when you wake... When you waken with the dawn, you'll find that sorrow sped away and baby who's are gone. Or who's are gone. Yet I, who watch above you in that alchemy of sleep, know a deeper bit of heartache for thus I who made you weep. By Rex E. Alford. The next one is The Bridge Build. An old man going along. An old man going alone highway came at the evening cold and grey, the chasm vast and deep and wide, through which was flowing a sullen tide. The old man crossed in a twilight dim, the sullen stream had no fears for him, but he turned when safe on the other side and built a bridge to span the tide. Old man, said a fellow pilgrim near, you're wasting strength with building here. Your journey will end with the ending day, you never again must pass this way. You have crossed the chasm, deep and wide. Why build you the bridge at the eventide? The builder lifted his old grey hat. Good friend, in the path I have come, he said. The there followeth after me today, a youth whose feet must pass this way. This chasm that has been naught to me, to that fair head, ya yeah, youth, may a bit fall be. He too must cross in the twilight dim, Good friend, I am building the bridge for him. Will Ellen Dromgul, I guess, from 1860 to 1934. A computer poem for those over 40. I'm actually going to skip that because I'm just uninterested. The fog rolled in. It's cold tonight and you're not here. The fog came in, the sun disappeared. The woods are quiet, the trees are still. Guess... I'll go inside the time to kill. The day is done, my chores complete. I know I should find something to eat, but nothing tempts me, hot or cold. It's not food I need, it is you to hold. The miles are many from here, from there to here, to where you are so far, yet near. I hear your voice in the silent room, though I'm alone, the quiet booms. My memories and I have a life all our own. We brave the cold the dark, the dawn. My eyes are closed, yet still they see the days are empty without thee. Tonight just tea, but a fire will do till morning comes and I hear from you. Goodbye, sweet friend, yet how can I let go of my teacher, soulmate, idol and earthly guide, though far apart across the miles I'd follow. Now my pleas to you go unanswered 
and I hide. I found you in the darkness, a kind of spirit, holding the brightest candle I've ever seen. He touched hands in that emptiness and threw it against the dearest pal I'd ever need. I know not what you looked like or do I want to you what I know not what you looked like, nor do I want to your n- nor do I want to your heart and words were all I needed to hold, a shape or form we all in consequential a bond like ours with words cannot be told words uh, your life with us with us was just a stop and wrote you rested here for only a moment or two but in those moments a treasure did you give out such lessons priceless gifts all parts of you though stripped now of my dearest warming sunlight in the darkness i reach and find you every night Thank you by Samantha Burkett from London, England. I wanted to thank you for the things you have done, for being my guardian angel when I felt I had none. I wanted to thank you for the love you have shown, for your warmth and affection when I thought I was alone. I wanted to thank you for your gestures and words. You gave me strength when I was in need and helped me trust in my own creed. I wanted to thank you for being there through thick and thin, if not in body, in soul, and always believing that I could win. I wanted to thank you for who you are, for your strength and courage, for always shining like the brightest star. And that's it, yeah. And the only way I can thank you and show you how I feel is to utter these words, which are written in steel. It's so peaceful to be loved for who I have become, than to be resented for the things I have not done. On the plains of hesitation, bleached the bones of countless millions, who at the dawn of victory stopped to wait and waited, and waiting died. Favorite of E. E. Nicholas, author unknown. The next one by Andrew Long, from the favorites of E. E. Nichols, Nichols, or whatever. Lost Love. Who wins his who wins his love shall lo I, I I'm <laughs> Who wins his love shall lose her. Who loses her shall gain for still for still the spirit woos her a soul without a strain. And memory still pursues her with longings not in vain. He loses her, who gains her, who watches day by day, the dust of time that stains her, the grief that leave her grey, the flesh that yet in hand enchains her, whose grace hath passed away. Oh, happier he who gains, not the love some seem to gain, the joy the custom stains, not shall still with him remain, the loveliness that warns not. The love that ne'er can wane. In dreams she grows not older. The lands of dream among. Though all the word, world walks wax colder. Though all the songs be sun. In dreams both doth, I'm sorry, he behold. Her still fair and kind and young. It's actually kind of a bummer when one can't read the poems, I guess. I mean, I'm just a bad reader. That's definitely the case, 100%. But anyway, balance. Which is maybe going to be the last one. It's just going to be the last one. I'm not even going to check the time. But it is going to be the last one. Balance. God gave fragrance to the flowers and a song for the birds to sing. So even those without sight could see the beauty that they bring. But I can't help but wonder at the thorn he placed upon the rose, and why suppose he made the weed or inspired a poet to write in prose? Was it for us a lesson shown that life brings the bitter with the sweet, and for the poet compassion given that allows his pen to paper meet? When a summer storm has passed and the sun comes out to shine, I look to see the sky reveal a rainbow adorning so divine. May I never grow so blind that my blessing I fail to see, nor my ears grow so deaf that I don't hear what he says to me. So when the thorns begin to sting upon a rose, I'll place my sight, and when the darkness in my creeps upon his face, I'll see the light. I'm gonna go for another one because I just wanna. 
It's gonna be um, about something. Should it be all one liners? Friendship, life in general. Let's go for life in general. I sought my soul, but my soul I could not see. I sought my God, but my God eluded me. I sought my mother and found all three. It's a beautiful one. By Terry Roberts from West Plains MO. Remembrance. It's not my hands that heals man and guides the silken blade, nor bridges built to great expand with the brick ex expertly laid. Take pity on the artist's brush, it lies tortured by my stroke, a voice that calls for greatness hushed, though fires I have stoked. How will I be remembered when the life I know is through, the gifts contained within this pen, all I have for you? Though greatness may not, uh, may not with me dwell, my love for life, I pray they tell. By Jerry Eckerman from Syracuse, New York, or something. I don't know. The last one by Judith Lynn Pollens McGeo from Phoenix, Arizona. The basis. I never promised to be perfect, nor asked for you to be. I never needed much at all, just your respect for me. The things we said were different, our opinions weren't the same, and it seemed to add some contrast, our debating was a game. But when it seems we have lost direction and the cost seems rather high, debate has become argument. What have we done and why? You misconstrue my interest as I'm prying, so I'm told. Attempts I make to bond with you get labeled as control. I thought our love would be enough to keep us firmly grounded. Where exactly do we stand within this love we have found it? Have we forgotten creative? Have we forgotten creativity, each viewpoint heard in turn, our basis, our foundation, our friendship and concern? What have we done? Where did we go? What purpose? Where's the gain? Stubborn, cold, unwilling, the basis of our pain. Yeah, and with that being said, I do hope that you've liked it. I do hope that you've gotten something out of it. And I'm hopefully going to see you next time. So bye-bye. Please take care of yourself. Please stay healthy and enjoy the upcoming holidays. And or holiday. Depends on how you think about it. And yeah, stay healthy. Stay safe. Take care of your friends and loved ones. And bye-bye. Going to see you the next time.